welcome back to the Quilting Corner. We are here at another Saturday morning, and well, we always start these episodes with the subscriber spotlight, and today is no different. We had multiple people turn in uh, pictures this week of things that they have worked on, and the first one is Shannon Burge. She is from Mooringsport, Louisiana, and she has submitted a picture, and I wanted to show you what she's done. Friends of hers from the church, all the ladies got together and she wanted to teach them how to make a quilt block. So that's exactly what she did. They got together between her and a friend, they had five sewing machines for all the ladies to share and to use. So they did that, they made some blocks, she taught them how to make blocks and they made a disappearing nine patch. And so they made the disappearing nine patches and when they brought them back, they were all supposed to end up with a 12 and a half inch block and you know as well as I do how that always goes, you're not always gonna get them 12 and a half. I don't care if you've quilted for 30 years, if you bring 20 women together and make 20 different, everybody makes one block, they're not all gonna be the same size. So that's what they ran into when they made these blocks. Well, she took them and she added some fabric around them and, and however she needed to do it to make them 12 and a half inch blocks. And what turned out from that was what she calls wonky blocks. And that's exactly what I would have called it as well. I loved it so much so that if it were me, I'd make it like that again, the same way. I'd do it again. They're that cute. So let me show you what they have made. Wasn't that adorable? They did a great job on that. And I love the way it came out looking quote unquote wonky. But what they did with it was they auctioned it off for charity. And that was another sweet thing to do. So we appreciate that submission. We loved it, loved the story behind it, and loved the fact that she and others are teaching the rest of the women how to make quilt blocks. <sighs> loved it. So thank you for sharing that. The next one is Carolyn Bostick, and she has made the Christmas tree quilt that we made with those quilt papers. She's made her top and basted it down. She's not quilted it yet, but she's going to try to attempt that as well. More power to her. I love to see all you guys learning all this. It makes me happy. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am with this kind of thing, but I want you to see her quilt. It is beautiful. Great job, Miss Carolyn. See what I tell you, she did a great job. Thank you for submitting that one. The next submission is Mary Esther Smith. She has made a uneven five inch block quilt. And what she did was she didn't want her seams to match up, so she just made them uneven. Love the way it turned out, and I want you to see it now. Miss Mary, you did a great job. Thank you too for submitting that picture. We enjoyed seeing it and can't wait for you to keep going and maybe submit some more in the future. Great job, loved it. The next and final submission is Kitty Scott. And she also has made the Christmas tree quilt, the same one that Miss Carolyn made earlier that we showed you pictures of and the same one that we did a video of a while back. She has made it um, herself and has another uh, 
picture submitted for that one. So let's look at what a great job she did. I told you she did a great job. All of these quilts are amazing. I love how different they are. You saw the two different Christmas tree quilts and how different they are, but both of them are beautiful. All of the quilts today that we've seen submitted are beautiful and we appreciate you guys turning them in. If you want to submit something that you've made, that you've been gifted, anything like that in the future on another episode, then be sure to email it to us at sojarmingquiltshop at gmail.com. We will get it in uh, another episode. So we appreciate those submissions. We get inspired by them as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you for submitting those pictures. You guys did great. Keep it going. Now we're going to move on to the project today. It's a little different and it's going to take me a little while. It's not going to be done today or... Well, not tomorrow either. But let me show you what I'm working on. I have, I don't usually do a lot of panels. I, I like them. I like when people have done them. They look pretty. But I don't do a whole lot of panels until now. That might change. This is the panel that I love. The Grinch. I love the Grinch. So here's the Grinch. And this panel also had a couple of other things on it. You've got this panel of him himself. And then... This was on the bottom. And this was on the bottom or top or whatever. One of them was one and one's the other. So you've got the lights. You had some ornaments. And you had Merry Grinchmas. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with those yet. I'm gonna do something. It might or might not be in this quilt. I haven't decided yet, but I will keep them close at hand because I will use them somehow. I'm not gonna let that go to waste. I'm gonna use it in this quilt or another quilt, don't know. But to start with, I'm gonna make a few blocks that will go with this panel so that I can put it around it and make it a little bigger because as you saw, this is the whole panel. Well, unless I'm a child, this is not going to be big enough for a quilt. So therefore, I'm going to make it big enough. I'm going to put some stuff with it to make it um, a little bit bigger. So what I have done, I'll put this to the side, is I've got another panel. And we've got both of these at the shop. And this panel, I've already cut it up. I should have shown it to you before I cut it up. But it's one panel and it had all of these faces on it. So there's one. And another, another, there are multiple ones. And I will use these around that whole body Grinch that I showed you a minute ago. So these I'll use around it. Now what, what these are, are 12 and a half inch blocks. I'm gonna measure that and verify it, but I think that is right. Yes, these are all 12 and a half inch blocks. If not, I was gonna to have to be adding some fabric to it, but I was correct and they are 12 and a half. So those are good to use. This is good to use. So we're gonna sit those to the side. We don't need to do anything with those right now. Then I've got some fabrics that I had at the shop and you could use the scraps you have. You can get these type fabrics here. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's gonna be cute because this right here these pieces are gonna make it cute. But what I've done is I've gone and found some Grinch fat quarters that we had at the shop. And I didn't, there was, there, we got more, but this is what I picked out. And then I had just some crazy trees. I had just some red fabric with like a design on it. I've got this red with this design on it. And then two more fat quarters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of this stack aside because I've opted to not use those just yet. I will use them before the quilt is over. But what I've picked is I needed three prints and here's my three prints. I've got my red, I've got my Grinch, and then I've got a stripe. 
and I'm gonna make a block with those, those prints. So let's get started. I also forgot to mention I'm gonna use white as my background. I might not in all the blocks, I haven't decided yet, but this one is going to have white as my background piece. So I needed eight of these squares that are three and seven eighth inch squares. So I'm putting all my other fabrics aside for now, and I've got eight three and seven eighth inch squares. What I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna take them and I am going to go from corner to corner and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut it one time across there and then I've got the triangles. So I'm gonna put those aside. Then I'm gonna grab, I'm cutting two at a time. You can cut whatever you feel comfortable cutting at a time. Then I'm gonna take it and do the same thing again. Cut it diagonally. The last set, corner to corner. Cut it diagonally. And you should end out, you started with eight squares, so you should have 16 triangles. So I'm gonna put those to the side. I'm gonna take my next piece, which is gonna be the red in my case, and I'm gonna need two squares, the same size as these were, the three and seven eighths. So I'm gonna line them back up and I'm gonna cut them the same way that I cut those other ones, the white ones, corner to corner. Now I should have four, so I'm gonna put those to the side. My next piece is this piece that I'm using for the stripe. And this I only need one piece, but it's seven and a quarter inch square. Now I'm gonna take this one and do the same. I'm gonna go corner to corner, then without moving the fabric, I'm gonna go corner to corner this way as well. So now I'll have four pieces like that. So that's my next set. Then I've got one more piece that I need to cut and that's gonna be this piece. But this piece is gonna be a little different because I wanna make sure I get his face in here. So I'm gonna do what we call fussy cutting. And I'm gonna find one of the faces, trying not to waste a whole lot of fabric, but I just need one piece from this fabric and I need it four and three quarter inch square. So the first thing I'm gonna do is iron this piece because I forgot to do that. So let me iron that. I've ironed just this one section because I don't need all this right now. So I just ironed this one section that I needed. I grabbed me a ruler that is at least four and three quarters inches since that's the size of this square that I'm gonna need. And I'm gonna just, I want this in my section. So this right here is cut off. I can't use that. That is the same thing. So I'm gonna use this one. And then I'll just use this other as little scraps in a Christmas quilt later. So what I'm gonna do is my square that is gonna be in the center is gonna be on point, meaning it's not gonna sit like this. It's gonna sit like this. So I want my Grinch to be face up this way, not this way. So I'm putting my ruler like this. I'm making sure that Mary Grinchmas and his face are within the four and three quarter inch size. So I've got one, two, three, four and three quarters, so it's not quite there. One, two, three, four and three quarters. It is there. Then I look over here and I've got it in here, so it's gonna go from here to here. So I'm gonna need to cut it right about right here. So I'm gonna take my rotary cutter and I'm gonna cut like this. And then I'm gonna pull this fabric away from it. I might need to cut it again. I'm sitting down trying to cut, which is probably not a smart thing to do. Nor is cutting towards you a smart thing to do, so let me cut it this way. Then I'm gonna cut this side and all of my pieces are good. My whole piece is there. 
Now I just need to trim it down because this is a six inch block. I've cut this to six inches, but I want from here right there in it. So I line it up right about there. I had it just a little off up here. Okay. Then I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna do it this way. And I'm gonna put four and three quarters over here and four and three quarters over here, which brings this out of here. Then when I've turned it, I'm just gonna cut it again and cut this portion off. I think I need a new blade. Then I'm gonna cut it again. Let's cut it this way. Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters is right there. But I need this half up here. So let me turn it this way. Four and three quarters. Four and three quarters is right there. And if I cut right here, I'll get this S from Grinchmas and I'll get his chin. I'll have seam allowance really, really close, but it'll work. So I'm gonna cut this and this. And what it leaves me is a four and three quarter inch square. And I've got his name in it. I've got his face in it. And when I put it on point, meaning like this, He's facing the right way and so is the words. So that's the way I want this. So I'm gonna put this one to the side now that I've got it ready. And I'm gonna start assembling my block. And this is how we're gonna assemble it. We're gonna take one of these white ones and one of these white ones in the corners like this. There's my cornerstones. Let me see if you can see it better here. Okay, now you can see it better. So here's my cornerstones. And I may have to move them in a minute, but this is where they're at for right now. Then I'm going to take my second piece that I cut the same size as those white ones, which is my red, and I'm putting them like this. Okay. Then I will take, this is gonna go in the middle, sitting let me get that little scrap off of there. Just like that. Then I'll take my white pieces. Let's see. One's gonna go here. One here, all the way around this green one. You'll see it come together in just a minute. So there's my center. Then I've got my stripe. And this might bother some people, it does not bother me a bit. Where my stripes are gonna be going different ways. If that bothers you, don't use a stripe here. But this does not bother me, I like this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my stripe here and I'm gonna take my likewise stripe there. Then I'm gonna take the other direction stripes and put them here. And then I'm filling in with white. So I'll just take a white there, there, there. And now you see my blocks coming together. And then I'm gonna sew this just like I do all the other blocks. So we're gonna take it one piece at a time. So let's move over to the sewing machine. Okay. Now the way I start this is I start in one corner. You can start anywhere in here, it doesn't matter. But to me, I like starting in a corner. So I'm gonna take these two, put them right sides together, line them up and stitch down this line right here and everything is a quarter inch.
Once I sew that, I will iron it. And that one's ready. I'm probably gonna go down to all the corners first. So I'll start this next corner, line it up at a quarter inch seam allowance. I'll sew it. Then I'll iron it open. And I'm gonna do the same thing with these outer pieces. Then I'll sew these flying geese together and come back to you. When I've got my four corner pieces made, I'll take these flying geese and make them. So I'll take the center piece, take one side, put it right sides together, center it along this side, and then stitch a quarter inch. Once I do that, I'll iron it open as always. And then I'll take the other piece, put it right side together on the other side, center it and stitch down this side. After each one that I've ironed open, I've also clipped these little dog ears. Some people don't do that. If it doesn't bother you, don't worry about it. But they bother me. So I get them out of there. Then I'll put it like this so that my striped piece is facing the inside of these squares. All of these are done now. These are done and these are done. Only thing I need to sew together now is this center square. So I'm gonna take it, this is the piece of it, okay? The green with the white edges. So I'm gonna take this one and this one. I'll take this one, put it right sides together. It doesn't matter which way you start with, but you do need to start with this way and this way, or this way and this way. But don't do this one, then this one. Go straight across. So I'll sew this one quarter inch down here. open. And then I'll take the piece directly across from the one I just sewed, put it right sides together, and stitch across this side. So line it up, sew a quarter inch, And now I'm halfway done with that square and I just need to sew these down. So then I'll pick one side, put it right sides together and center it and stitch down this side. So I'll line it up, sew a quarter inch. like that and I just need to sew this one on. So I'll put it right sides together, line it up, stitch a quarter inch, and then iron it open. Now I've got all these little dog ears that I'm going to cut off just because they aggravate me. Push those to the side, I'll throw them away in a minute. Now here's my pieces. Everything, I don't know if you can see it, here. Everything is sewn together and it's three, three, and three. 
So I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna make rows. I'll take this one, put it right sides together along this one, stitch down that side at a quarter inch. And for me, it's just easier to keep doing this. Then I'll take this one, put it right sides together and chain piece. I'll just leave this one here. I'll add that piece in a minute. Then I'll stitch down this side. Saves a little bit of time this way and a little bit of thread this way. Sew it at a quarter inch. Same thing here. This goes like this. Put this one right side together. Line it up. Take it to the machine. Then I'll cut my thread, cut each one of these three apart, and then I'll iron them open. So there's that one. That one, and the last one. Now I've got two pieces on each row. One, two, one, two, one, two. So I'll take this one, lay it right sides along this one, sew them together. I'll take this row, lay this one right sides together right here line it up and sew it a quarter inch. Same thing with this one. Take this, line it up right, to this, Stitch it a quarter inch. And when I get done, I'll have my three rows done. Now, all I gotta do is sew my rows together and my block is complete. So there's my, let me iron it open. Top row. And middle row. And last but not least, the bottom row. Now, I'll grab my pins. Got a thread caught on it. And I'll take one row. I'm going to set this one to the side for a minute. I'll take these two rows. Flip the right sides up together. I'll take this one. This seam and this seam, I want them lined up. So match them up, roll them up to the top, and I've got one seam going this way and one seam going this way. It makes for a flatter uh, block. Do the same thing with this side. And now I'm gonna sew them together. When I get to that pin, I'll pull it down a little bit and pull it out. That way I'm not going over my pins. Keep it lined up. starting to come together. Now I gotta sew this one on. I'm gonna do the same thing. Flip it right sides up. Then I'm going to match these seams, roll them to the top, 
and I'll have one seam going to the left and one seam going to the right. Match these up. Pin them and sew them. Now, I got my little pieces I can throw away. I'm done with the block. So I'm gonna iron this last piece flat. And there is my block. The last thing we've gotta do with this block is go over and square it up. So let me go get my 12 and a half inch ruler and we'll square it up. Got my block, I've got my ruler. I'm laying my ruler on the middle of this square. I don't wanna lose any points. I wanna line it up as best I can. And I can see that there's spots on every side that I need to trim. So let me line it up. This line right here should go directly down the center of that block. So I'm gonna take it, I've got points here, points here, points here. Let's see, right there. Gotta get it just right, okay? And I'll cut down this side. Need to stand up for this one. Cut this side. And once I've got the two sides done, then I can take the ruler off, turn it once, turn it twice. So now these two sides are good. I'll line the ruler up with these two sides. And then cut the rest of it. And now I've got a squared up 12 and a half inch block. We have finished our block. It is ready to be put aside so where we have time to do all the other blocks that we're gonna add to the side of this panel. But keep in mind that because I'm using this beside a panel, doesn't mean you have to use this alongside a panel. You can. You can use it around any panel. If you have a nativity panel and you have some pretty fabrics that you wanna make blocks to make that panel bigger, then do that. Whatever panel you have, do that. Or you could make a bunch of these and make a quilt just from these different blocks, same blocks, whatever. But for my purpose, this is going alongside of the Grinch panel that I showed you earlier. I'm gonna put it to the side, I'm gonna make some more blocks and I'll come back and I'll show you how to make the other blocks and then I'll show you how to uh, add it to the panel and make it the quilt top. But for now, this is what we're doing today. We are done. We're gonna move on to another block and I'll video that and let y'all see that later. But for now, that's what I've got on the, on the schedule for today. You guys have a great weekend. I hope you enjoy whatever you're doing and I hope you have good weather. But for now, all I've got left to say is, thank you for watching. Subscribe and like if you haven't already. And well, happy quilting.